Hi, I'm Nathan Muldoon, and I'm just a guy who likes to swim. Uh, the Triple Crown of open water swimming is three different swims. The first one is in uh, Los Angeles, California, and you swim from Catalina to the mainland, which is a 20-mile swim. The second one is the English Channel, which is you swim from England to France, which is 21 miles. And then the third leg is the Manhattan Island Swim in New York, which is a 28-mile swim. My wife thinks that it's crazy. I think anybody would say if you're going to go swim in the ocean for eight hours or swimming the English Channel in freezing cold water that's going to take possibly 15 hours, people would automatically think you're crazy. Why don't you just take a boat over to France? But uh, it's just the challenge. People love the challenge. 1 Corinthians 10.31 says, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Since God's giving me this gift to swim, I want to glorify God in this. And what that verse is talking about that is that in the most simplest things of your everyday life, such as eating or drinking, um, going to work, raising your kids, loving your wife, loving your husband, is that you can glorify God in those things. And so by me acknowledging that the Lord gave me this gift and I am re in return saying, God, I'm going to do this for you, then that's giving him the glory. And if he gives me the grace to finish, praise God. And I really want to finish this swim, but if he's decided for me not to, to see if I'm still going to praise him, I'm still going to praise him. And that's how God gets the glory in this swim. Yeah, we're deep. My training consists of one ocean swim per week, which is on Mondays. I try to get in about 15 to 17 miles, which takes about seven to eight hours. The big fear that I have with open water swimming, and it's sharks. And that's usually the first question people ask me is, what about sharks? And one particular swim was a few weeks ago when a man actually got attacked by a shark at Manhattan Beach. And I, had to, I went for an ocean swim the next day, and it was my long swim, it was an eight hour swim. And most of the time during that swim, I was praying, saying, God, if you wanted, you could take my life right now by a shark, but um, I'm still trusting you, and I know if you, ha if you want me to do something, you're going to keep me alive. I know you have purpose for me. The English Channel is going to be tougher because the water is a lot colder than here in Southern California. It's about 10 degrees colder. Most people who quit are, is because of hypothermia. Uh, also, the currents are a lot stronger. You don't swim in a straight line like you do in Catalina, and so you swim farther. It's not just a 21 mile distance. You're possibly swimming 26 to 30 miles, depending on how strong the current is. A way that you can help is prayer. I need as much prayer as I can get. Uh, the trip's gonna be, I know there's gonna be complications. Pray for good weather, for a good swim, but ultimately pray that God is glorified and that Christ is exalted, because that is one of, that's the biggest reason why I'm doing these swims.